to prepare for the winterizing process, I have these things ready and handy. So first I have been charging the battery so that it's up to uh, all the way charged up. So this is uh, a good charger from Schumacher and it will uh, it has a fast charge I think it's a 15 amp charge uh, which is meant for marine as well as your car and it's charging the boat battery right now the next one is the fogging oil and this fogging oil I will use to to fog the engine in the through the carburetor input in there now this is a um, fuel stabilizer so I'll use the fuel stabilizer into I'll pour the fuel stabilizer into the uh, in the gas tank so that it it doesn't uh, it uh, stabilizes the fuel for the winter now these are the antifreeze that I will replace the water in the engine which is used for the coolant and I replace it with the antifreeze now we are in Washington DC area so we don't get that cold but it still can get to almost closer to zero degrees now these antifreeze is is good for minus 50 degree protection so it should be fine and I usually don't dilute it with water so I pour the antifreeze I drain the water first and then I pour the antifreeze as it is so it is uh, good for uh, good for our winter here the next one is I have I will replace the engine oil though it's not required at this point but you can replace it either before winterizing or when you take it out in the uh, spring so um, for this one I have the marine oil from Quicksilver and it's a 20 SAE 25 W40 as well as I have uh, the oil filters in there so there is uh, five quarts of oil here four quarts in that big gallon big quart uh, container big gallon container and then one quart here so before I start the engine up I have removed the engine cover and that can be removed right by sliding these two sockets and I have put it over here this is a bay liner and it's around 22 feet and this uh, engine has um, it's a 8 cylinder 5 liter engine so it has 4 cylinders on this side and four on on the other side so what I have found is since it's a big engine you can't really pump the uh, the antifreeze with the other way I used to do on a smaller boat or smaller boat engine the three liter it will replace the water if you pump it through um, through your uh, inlet but last year I found that that didn't replace the water in most of the engines so what I ended up doing is I had to uh, open the these uh, valves for the water and there are five of them and I'll show you when it comes to that releasing the the water and then I had poured it using these inlet valves inlet uh, uh, inlet uh, hoses and I would fill the whole uh, engine compartment with antifreeze through pouring the antifreeze right into there so it's also not diluted and uh, before I do that I want to fog the engine and so I'll remove the cover here which uh, holds the uh, uh, the carburetor intake so I started the engine up uh, and uh, it did start 
okay it took a couple of tries uh, since it's cold right now so the engine is running right here and, and I'm going to take this this uh, cover off and remove remove the cover for the air intake here this looks clean enough and here is where I'm going to spray the fogging oil Since this is a big engine, it's not going to stall with the fogging oil. A smaller engine, like the 3 liter I had before, would stall if I, if I put the fogging, engine, the fogging oil in there. But this one is not going to stall. But I'll use the other can I have. You want to fog into the hole so that it gets sucked up into all the uh, sucked up into all the uh, cylinders there. Once I'm uh, done with this, I'll stop the engine and then proceed with the draining the water and, and replacing with the uh, antifreeze. So after I stop the engine, I put the uh, cover back on on the uh, air intake there and now I'm going to drain the water so the drain plugs are on both sides and you can see one drain plug right here and one drain plug right underneath there so those two need to be you can see right there and same thing on on the other side so if you see the drain plugs so there is one right here and the other one is hiding right down there. So those are the four drain plugs which will release the water from uh, both the exhaust as well as the, uh, 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 the compartment for the engine compartment there. And the third one is right, uh, the fifth one is right here. So all of these five drain plugs needs to be opened up and all the water needs to go down, uh, get out of the engine. So I've opened these drain plugs and you can see the water pouring out. One thing to make sure is those drain plugs have a little o-ring in there and you want to keep those o-rings in there and make sure those are going back in otherwise it will not, uh, it will not fit properly and it will start leaking there. So I've opened up the three drain plugs these have uh, three open and then I will open the ones in the bottom ones there which uh, are a little difficult to get you can see that the water is now pouring in from the engine compartment and let it drain it's from right there So I've drained all the water and then I had put the plugs back in so this one is put back in as well as two on each sides so remember that there are five on this engine now this is not the 5 liter MFI this is the Thunderbolt ignition engine so uh, this one has 
uh, carburetor, not the full inject and, uh, injection one. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this hose off. This is the hose that feeds the cold water into the engine. And this is the one I'm going to use uh, to put the antifreeze in there and fill the engine compartment with the, the antifreeze uh, all the way. So I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to fill it with antifreeze. To open this uh, hose, it's, it's very easy. It says a, a bolt, in, uh, bolt in there. You can use a screwdriver to loosen it. And then you rock it a little bit and it should come off. So now it's off and I'm going to put the antifreeze down this hose so that it fills the engine compartment. And I'm going to use the antifreeze here and slowly drop it, uh, pour it in into this, into this compartment and watch for the level. So it should fill it up. It should come up to whatever level it, it, it can see and then you can stop it. So I have filled up this hose over here and I can see li the liquid in there and even if I, if I pour any more it's going to come out this this compartment. So it's going all the way through the engine it is all the way up here and this is uh, now full with antifreeze. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in and this has been the engine compartment has been full with the antifreeze so it took around uh, two gallons i would say maybe a little over two gallons and i had a little leftover from last year so i would say maybe two and a quarter gallon of antifreeze maybe two and a half gallons so to be safe you can probably get three gallons of antifreeze and that should be good so next i'm going to change the oil and it's much easier for this boat because it has a drain hose which comes out from the back and the filter the oil filter is right there you can see the filter right there it's not as easy as the MFI engine which uh, is much easier to to do the other thing I am not going to do this here is change the the fuel filter and I changed it last year so this year I'm not going to change it and this is where the fuel filter is so it's very similar to the oil filter and that can also be changed I'm also going to uh, take the battery off the boat and put it in the garage so it's not uh, in the cold weather and I also charge it once in a while maybe every month every two months to top it off so that it doesn't deteriorate and that should complete the winterizing of this boat again till next spring and these uh, antifreeze is safe for the environment so when I take it out next year I can just let it drain um, it doesn't affect the the water system here